You get anybody coming here or doing this? Really? Wow. Okay. Good. All right. Oh, I don't feel nervous. I just want to creep people out. So. All right. Burger number three. I'm down here, Lower Water Street, in a drift. Uh, high expectations for this one being the most expensive uh, on my list, and actually on the entire list, at 33 bucks. So wait and see. Look, heard a lot of good things about drift. I've never been here before, so I'm excited to try it. And uh, part of the atmosphere and the experience here is actually pretty cool. Um, so yeah, we'll see what happens. Cold Harbor Red. Well, that's different. Awesome. So that is eight ounces of house ground beef. There's brisket, tenderloin, and sirloin. We have crispy onions and our house made Atlantic sauce. Awesome. With Kaplan bro, there's pickles, onions. Um, kind of tastes like a Big Mac sauce, but much better. I should and hope so. <laughs> definitely. Uh, we also have shark cheddar, and on the fries, you'll notice there is um, our Atlantic spice. Okay. Yeah. I think it's slightly reminiscent of like an all dressed chip, which is very Oh, interesting. Ocean. Okay, it but is. Elevated, for sure. Elevated, I should say, for 33 bucks. Yeah, it better be. Definitely. So here it is. It is already dripping. Looks looks really good. Looks really yummy. It's really tender, juicy. All right, this one definitely deserves a napkin on my lap. Uh, it is a house ground eight ounce beef patty as it drips all over me here. Crispy onions, rich and flavorful. Canoia dirt, canoia dirt, uh, cheddar and uh, Atlantic sauce, and they say the Atlantic sauce is so good that I'm, we're gonna wanna swim in it, so we'll see. Better than swimming in the harbor. Uh, to top it off, they have a sprinkle of Capelin roe, which is a fish egg, uh, sea lettuce, and nestled between a sesame milk bun. I'm served with uh, certain fries here, Dulce spiced fries, and they got a couple of different dipping sauces as well. Actually, one just looks like ketchup. So, sounds very sophisticated. For 33 bucks, I would hope so. Five dollars of this burger goes directly to feed Nova Scotia, which is, which is crazy. I think it's the highest actually in the, on the list, which is nice. So anyway, let's dive into this. We'll see, parental discretion is advised. This is going to be super messy. Actually, probably messier, much messier than my last one. Oh my, 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 my! It is just oozing, oozing. <laughs> Spring it on my fries. Here we go. Mm. It's very good. Yeah. Salty. You see the, the sauce that's in there. She said it's reminiscent of a Big Mac. I don't know if I would have compared it to a Big Mac, but she said it's an elevated Big Mac sauce. Don't really pick it up, but it's just oozing all over the place. Right, so you can really see the pink. Cooked very well, nice and juicy. I'm not sure where the fish row is. Somewhere's on top of there. I don't know if you can see it or not. My fries are coated in this sauce, lavish, expensive sauce. This is a really good burger. I'm trying to break down the flavor, the different taste. It's really hard for me to pinpoint the row, but that's probably where the saltiness is coming from. This thing is just all over the place, which is, like I said, each one of my videos, it's indicative of a good burger. It's gotta be messy, right? No, it is. <laughs> Waiter agrees. Fries are decent. The sauce it comes with is kind of a peppercorny, peppercorny sauce, I guess. Again, it's cooked very well, it's very tender. I'm trying to be a little more descriptive than my last one. Last one was excellent, and this one is is on par, if not better. I may not be as expressive as I was in my last video, but this is really yummy. Um, yeah, very pleased with it. Super, super messy. So I lost the bottom part of my bun. Anyway. Actually, a buddy of mine uh, recommended that I eat the burger upside down because the top of the burger is larger than the bottom and it catches the juice. Didn't do that this time. I guess this is probably a good time I should have. It's a shout out to you, Steve. Anyway, burger with a fork. All right, so burger number three is done. It was very yummy, very enjoyable. I think it was worth the 33 bucks. It was expensive, but again, $5 of that goes towards Feed Nova Scotia. Uh, solid nine, definitely give it a solid nine. Uh, so the next stop tomorrow is to Studio East, my final burger, and it's the Purple Elephant Thai Burger with hand cut fries. Anyway, thanks very much for watching. We'll see you tomorrow. A few moments later. So we have a salted caramel sauce and our passion fruit sorbet. Sounds good. Interesting combo, but it does work. Awesome. <laughs> All right. I haven't done dessert in any of my videos yet. 
but I uh, figured, why the hell not? Sticky caramel pudding. Let's give it a try. Mm. Oh, wow. Very yummy. All right, this is Julia. She was fantastic. Hi. She was awesome. Thanks very much, Julia. Of course.